Hey, what's up, guys? This is Dima Snipes. So today in this video, what we're going to be covering is the kitchen in a mansion. Because, as I said in my earlier video, uh, when you have a mansion, you have a lot of space, and it takes a lot to fill all that space. Because I know a lot of you guys have mansions, and you don't know what to do with the empty space inside. And so, basically, what these videos are doing is they're trying to help you fill the inside of them, and so you get some ideas. You don't have to follow exactly as I say. These are just suggestions uh, and just ideas for what I do. And earlier in my other video, we covered the living room. And now we're going to be covering the kitchen. So for the kitchen, what you will need, you will need trap doors, bookcases, two stairs, uh, stone, maybe some wood. All depends on what you're into. Uh, a couple stairs, uh, a chest, and then two levers. Alright, so the most important thing in the kitchen is the stone. Oh, and you will need some furnaces, which are in my chest. Oops, here we go. Oh, and you will need white wool or iron blocks for the refrigerator. Alright, so now we should be set. So what we're going to do is you want to find a spot in your uh, house to make the kitchen. And I think right here will be good because we can make the kitchen right here. It will be a pretty good size. And over here we can add the table for later. You know, that will be in a later video though. <clears throat> I had to clear my throat. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to take our stone. We're going to lay it down, just like that, and then, just on one side, you're going to make it to where it's too thick, and then you're going to take your pickaxe out, and then chisel out this, and this is where your stairs come in handy, the stairs are the sink, you come around this way, you set the stairs down, so then it kind of looks like a sink right there, like, do you see what I'm talking about? And then you take your levers, you place them down just like this, and you want to fix this one to where it's facing this way, so then that looks like the faucet. Alright, so this is the only uh, side where you're going to have two thick. Now you just go one, just like that. You take your white wool. You make your refrigerator. And then you take your buttons. I'm not sure if I said you need those, but you do. And you want to put one on the top, one on the bottom. I think uh, the iron blocks look better, but you can use either or. You can use white wool or iron blocks. It's all up to you what you want to do. And then you want to lay maybe one more block down. Then you want to add a furnace, one or two of them, all, like I said, it's all up to you. And then you want to go around, you want to come all the way back around, and leave a little opening just like that, as usually what I do. Then right here, what we're going to do is we're going to add some seating, so you can eat your food right here if you want. And then you can also add the seating over here as well, just like that. And then what I usually do in the middle of my kitchen, I add an island. What I do is I do that. And then I take fence posts. I'm not sure if I... I don't think I grab those. Man, I'm just forgetting everything, it seems like. My bad, guys. So we're done with the furnaces. I'm going to put those away. Alright. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the fence posts and stack them just like this. So then it takes up more space, you have the island so you can put a cake here or something like that. So now these are where your bookcases come in handy. You place the bookcases up here, just like that. Then you come around to the other side. You can place them right there. And maybe even right here. Then we're going to fill in this empty space, just like that. And then this is where your trap doors come in handy. You take your trap doors and you put them on at the bookcases. The reason I like the bookcases is because they add color to your kitchen, which kind of makes it look a little bit nicer and maybe just a little bit bigger. Oh, I didn't mean to put that one there. Ah, there we go. So now you kind of look like you have a real kitchen. You have the seating, so if people want to eat at the kitchen. You have the furnace, which is probably the most important part, just because you can cook stuff like uh, the meat and stuff like that. You have a sink, which is always nice. You can even add extra stuff around like that. Uh, you can just do you can do a lot of stuff with this. Uh, this is just a easy medium sized kitchen. If you want to take up more space you can make a bigger kitchen with a little bit more room. Because as you can see here it's kind of compact. But it's just it's big enough to where I can get through it and then over here we're gonna add the table later. 
using sticky pistons, and I'll show you how to do that in a, in a later video. But so this is how to make a kitchen, really easy to make, uh, really simple. I mean, as you can see, you have everything that you need. You have the refrigerator, you have the sink, you have the furnace, you have bookcases for color, which are acting like the cabinets. And if you even want, you can add uh, more trap doors around, like the island and stuff like that, to make it look a little bit nicer as well. There we go. Uh, I can't place that one right there just because the refrigerator is right there. But you get the idea of what you can do with the kitchen. So, thanks for watching guys. Please rate and subscribe. Like I said in my earlier video, if I get enough likes and views and subscribers, well, I shouldn't say subscribers, just likes and views, I will make a, a commentary tutorial on how to make this mansion right here. And so, please rate and subscribe guys. Thanks for watching. This is DMF Snipe signing off.